you've got a fast blinker and you're wondering why. One of your light bulbs is out, either front or back, or both. So, for me, it's this one. This turn signal is not working. So, we're gonna get in here, we're gonna take this out, this cowling out, we're gonna get in here and remove and replace this bulb without doing anything with the battery. And we're gonna investigate this one and probably switch both. So I'll go over taking out uh, both the passenger and the driver front turn signals. Let's go. I find popping these out to be a pointless exercise, trying to loosen them. Um, we're trying to take them apart piece by piece. Instead, get a big fat screwdriver, work it underneath, work it from the side and gently kind of twist and pull and they'll just pop out and you can pop them back in. They're easier if you uh, open them up before you put them back in. There we go. As with all things lights, this little cowling's gotta come off. So that's out of there. And now it gives us access to our light down here and you can get to it without taking the battery out. So let's pull it out. For the sake of completeness, you can also of course get to the left side, which is much easier to get to the passenger side which is working just to show you it's easier to get the camera in here so this little guy right here so you just twist him a little bit and he comes out and then twist i already took him loose but there's our blinker right so we're going to do the same thing that's what it looks like right so easier to see this side without the battery so you kind of know what you're looking at right, so i was able to get my hand down under there now that you know what you're looking for and twist it counterclockwise and now There's our bulb, there's our culprit. So push and twist counterclockwise, right lefty loosey. This guy is clearly burned out. You can see the smoke inside. So we're gonna go replace him with another amber bulb. I'm gonna grab two so they match and I'll just replace them both while I'm here. Not a bad practice if you're already at it. They come in packs of two generally anyways. And if one burned out, the other one's probably not far behind. Got our new bulbs, 1156 amber. Uh, our bulbs provide the color. We got clear lenses, so we need to have amber bulbs. And note that these little nubbins are the same and they're equal on both sides. That's important. You'll find uh, different bulbs with different types, but as long as you're getting 1156, you're good to go. So now we're gonna grease them up and put them in. So what grease, you might ask? Well, you don't have to use any grease. You can certainly buy some or get a little pack of it when you're buying them at the store. For me, I already have Super Lube, insert jokes here, uh, it's a silicone lubricant, but importantly, it is dielectric, right? So uh, that means it's good for um, things that conduct electricity and connections and things, and it keeps water and other junk out uh, and keeps it clean uh, and keeps the part in good shape. So we're going to put a little grease on the contacts, but we're not going to uh, overlap. So we'll put a little bit on the outside and we'll put a little bit on the center concept, contact, but I don't want to smear the whole shebang to essentially coat everything. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So smeared it on the out outside, right, to basically keep it from corroding, but on the notice just on the outside and then I put a little dollop right here in the center um, and nothing else on the bottom. So I've got essentially where the contacts is going to be made, I've got it coated. Now we'll just put it in, give it a little eighth of a turn uh, clockwise, and then reinsert it. Got it inserted back into here. Make sure it blinks well before we put it back together, which it does. Now we can just reinsert it, twist that main part on as well. There we go, reinserted. Uh, notice that uh, you've got about a quarter turn clockwise to lock it back in. So I've got this new bulb reinserted, and now right, we've got to get it down into that socket. Easier said than done. It's actually easier to do it by feel. I've got my hand down there and by sight. So as soon as it gets in front of that hole, you know you've made it. We've got it in there. Now I just have to get it seated and then turned and locked in. Make sure you get a good quarter turn to get it locked in there. Uh, make sure you're sealing out any stuff. So here we go. 
That's how you change the front bulb.